Spurge here, and in this video, we are gonna break down the new Sedici Strata 3. So, how do you change one of the best selling helmets on the market? Very carefully. So, as we walk through all the changes that the new Strata 3 is gonna get, you'll notice that it is not about a ground up redesign of the Strata 2, which we have right here on my right hand side, but rather, refinement is the name of the game. And as we walk through this, you'll see a lot of key areas of refinement versus a ground up sweeping change. So just starting with both helmets side by side, you'll notice that the shell itself got a bit more aggressive and a little bit more streamlined, a little bit sportier, but for the most part, they look very similar. So the new helmet is coming up about $20 in price. Inflation is a real son of a bitch. This is still under $300, so around the $280 price point at the time of filming. There is also a carbon fiber version on my left hand side, which is around the $400 price point. Now, it's important to note that much like we saw with the outgoing Strata 2, the Strata 3 is going to have other versions as well. There's a Primo version. If you prefer a Snell rating, this is going to have D-O-T-E-C-E. There is also going to be a MIPS version, and there is going to be a Polare version, which has a comm system built in. So we'll have separate videos kind of breaking down each of the separate helmets, but this one is going to be focused on the Strata 3 and the Strata 3 with the carbon version. This is the ECE version of the helmet. The easiest way to tell the difference between the two is that the ECE version does have that drop down sun visor. The Snell version does not. Let's start at the beginning and work our way through. It is going to be a lot of little nuance that does make it an improved helmet overall. Starting with the fiberglass composite shell with Kevlar reinforcement. The Kevlar reinforcement has been changed a little bit. I have a, uh, an actual shell here. So they just updated exactly where the Kevlar laid and how much Kevlar was on top of here. Now this is something you're not gonna see when you pick the helmet up to go ride in it but it is working underneath the scenes to keep your noodle safe. Four different shell sizes. The previous Strata 2 had three shell sizes, so this gets one more shell size, one more better. Um, it is better in the fact that if you are in a smaller helmet size, you're not stuck wearing a larger shell with just more padding inside, which can make you look like a bobblehead and it might not keep you as safe. So four different shell sizes is an improvement. Extra small to small is one shell size. Medium gets its own shell size. Large to extra large gets its shell size. I can't say shell that many times. Um, and then 2XL to 3XL gets a shell size. So again, four shell sizes there. DOT ECE uh, 2206 in the base version that I have on the table here. And then three pounds, five ounces in a medium, no change. So the weight has not increased. Intermediate oval, and what we mean with that, a little bit longer front to back. The real note here is that an intermediate oval internal shape is gonna work for the majority of riders out there in the American market. If you're not sure what we're talking about with internal shape of a helmet, make sure you check out our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet guide. That'll walk you through all the nuance you need if you're just starting out and buying your first helmet. And then the other thing that's really cool here is that as we get to the inside of this, we'll look at the internals in a little bit, there is adjustment, so you can fine tune um, with these little five millimeter pads that are in the inside. So Sedici makes it really easy if you wanna maybe put a little bit more padding in certain areas to make it a little bit more comfortable. So you can augment that intermediate oval fit a little bit, and it's nice to see that at a helmet coming in sub $300. So, refinement, right? Let's just start at the front and we'll work our way through it. If you notice, the chin bar or the chin vent gets just a slight update for increased ventilation, but one of my favorite changes is something you probably would never even notice. If you look at the little mounting point for the face shield on this, it looks darn near identical to the old one, except for the old one was a little piece of metal up top that connected to plastic and that was sometimes a fail point. So they updated this to a full piece of metal to eliminate that as a potential fail point. The face shield itself has not changed, and this is actually a nice thing because it means that you can use your previous Strata 2 face shields if you have a couple different shields on the new Strata 3, and that includes the transition shield. Um, the older style transition shield will work with this. We like the face shield on this, nice thick face shield, almost has like a race face shield to it, pin lock ready, and then the closure points has not changed, so easy on, easy off. If you wanna change the shields, you simply push down, that pops out, 
snaps right out of the back, to put it back in, you line it up, you snap it in, and you close. It's very easy to use. As you're looking at where this is, there is a bit more of a streamlined design. The shell actually has been increased a little bit from a width standpoint to come out and meet the face shield just a little bit better than on the previous version, just to cut down on wind noise and help with aerodynamics. Now, when we're talking about the wind, the mounts up top, or the vents up top rather, have been moved back roughly 25 millimeters, and where the side is working to allow the wind to pass through and be more streamlined, the vents up top have been repositioned to capture the wind and shove it down into your head to make you feel cool. So again, the reason that they've pushed that ventilate, or those, those vents back about 25 millimeters was to help with the increased venting. I think it also just looks a little bit more streamlined. If you're looking at the vents between the old Strata 2 and the Strata 3, I think it just looks a little bit sportier. Looks a little bit light, nicer, looks a bit more modern. As we get around to the back, and again, I'll just kind of position these here. What you'll notice is that the rear spoiler has been moved down about 20 millimeters on the new helmet. And just, again, helping with aerodynamics, helping with the overall shape, just looks a little bit more aggressive. The vents at the back have been redesigned as well to be a little bit flush, a little bit more flush with the overall streamlined design. And there's a bit more of a hawk's bill approach to the chin bar. And while this all looks cool, it makes it look like a more aggressive, sporty helmet. Really, there is function to this form. And the function is the fact that it does help reduce collarbone injuries in the event of a crash. So again, while you're looking at all of these different pieces, the refinement is really great to see. Sedici did a great job addressing things that were maybe potential issues in the past, you know, also helping to make it a better helmet. Now, the one thing to note here that has not changed for the face shield itself, it's either open or it's kind of closed. You can leave it cracked a little bit to let a little bit of airflow kind of flow through. But if you're somebody that likes to ride with maybe the shield in the mid position or just, you know, shy of being all the way up, there are no detents still. Would love to see detents for the face shield in the next iteration. Drop down sun visor, like I said, if you're looking at this version, the ECE version, you will get the drop down sun visor. The Snell version doesn't get that because of the way the shell is designed. And then you will notice just a slight change in the design of the drop down itself. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, so getting my donut up onto the table. First, what you'll notice is that the cheek pads have not really changed. There's been some slight updates to the interior, but it really does work to wrap around your head and help to reduce wind noise. Really nice cheek pads, in my opinion, for a helmet coming in at this price. Chin curtain is removable. If you're somebody that likes a chin curtain, you like that block and that wind, you can leave that in. You can also pull that out and remove it if you so choose. Double D-ring closure on this. Snap back to hold the snap in place. Now, the one thing I'll note as I'm pulling the cheek pads out, Sedici has redesigned the speaker cutouts in this helmet, tried to make them a little bit deeper, a little bit more for what we're seeing with some of these modern speakers where the speakers are a bit wider. I would have loved to have seen them go maybe a little bit deeper. I think when you're looking at some of these high definition Harman Kardon speakers, they get a little bit thick. And I think that the, the cheek pad cutouts could have been a little bit deeper, but again, minor nitpick for there. You can see, I'm just kind of taking my time pulling this out. Uh, the snaps, the easiest way to get the snaps out, they're just the real basic, simple design with the snaps and just getting your finger behind them and just kind of popping out is the easiest way to do that and not, you know, rip the, the little snappy things out through the cheek pad. So just be careful when you're taking the cheek pad in and out. Nice contoured cheek pad works really well to, again, form to your face, but then provide coverage down at the bottom to allow airflow to not be pushed up in. Pops are reflective at the bottom of the cheek pads as well, so if you're in more of a full tuck position, you do get that benefit of a little bit of pop or reflective at the base of the cheek pad. And then when we pull the liner system out, I'll be able to show you exactly what I was talking about with the, uh, with the uh, adjustments for the top part, which allows you to kind of change the overall fit. So two snaps at the back, and then just a brow mount at the front. This is where you'll notice you can adjust this extra foam layer. You can remove this extra foam padding at the front. You can remove the extra foam padding at the side. And that just allows you to fine tune the fit a little bit. Nothing overly sophisticated, but for a helmet at this price point, it's nice to see that in there, just so you can get a little bit of fit adjustment with your Strata 3. So taking a look at the inside, 
This is where you'll see the speaker cutouts that I was talking about. Again, they are definitely deeper than what we've seen in the past, but I do think that there could be potentially just maybe a little bit of, of push out on some of the thicker speakers that we're seeing right now, but they're moving in the right direction. Channel cutouts for ventilation, working its way from the front all the way down to the back. And again, I would say the ventilation on this helmet is pretty impressive considering the fact that this is sub $300. So you're gonna get nice vent at the chin, nice vents up top, and then that does work to push its way all the way down to the back. So nothing that is going to be groundbreaking, just refinement through and through. Sedici did a great job of making light updates to an overall favorite without increasing the price drastically. I said, we're looking at roughly a $20 price increase with this coming in around the $200, $280 mark at the time of filming. A lot of things to like considering this is sub $300. If you want to hear more about what other riders have to say, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are out there putting a Sedici Strata 3 through its paces. If you have any more questions for us and as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style and your budget, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps. They can walk you through all the different helmets available to make sure that you find the right helmet to match your ride as well as your wallet. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the Sedici Strata 3. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.